Yo, what's up guys? It's Drew with the Do Sounds and today I wanted to show you how to make a classic Reese bass like you would hear in like a Drake song, a lot of R&B, even hip hop uses these basses a lot. So I'm going to show you exactly how to make one from scratch in Serum. This is a super simple sound so if you're just getting started with sound design this is going to be a really easy one for you to follow along with. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start with this saw wave and I'm just going to keep it on that. Turn it down by two octaves. Now we have this really thick saw. I'm going to put LFO 1 on the fine tuning and just turn down the range and turn down the rate. So this is just giving it a little bit of movement. So the next thing I'm going to do is turn up the unison. And this first one, we're going to turn up to 5. You could do it on 7 too if you wanted to, but I'm just going to do 5 for this example. So now we have that really wide, phasey sound. Next thing I'm going to do is turn on oscillator B. And we're going to use a saw wave again, pitch it down by two octaves. And I'm going to actually turn the fine tuning down by like 15 to 20. And then I'm going to turn up the unison to eight. So you can hear that gives it a super spread wide sound and turning down the fine tune actually makes it even more spread out. And it creates a little bit of difference between oscillator A and oscillator B. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and add the LFO to that too. And I'm going to just turn it down to be in this range. So the next thing I'm going to do, as you can hear right now, if I play two notes, it's going to play both of the notes, which I'm not going to use ever for a bass line. It's always going to be a single note. So I'm going to put it on mono. So it only plays one note at a time. I'm going to put it on legato. So it glides between the notes. And then I'm going to put on always and turn up the porta. And what this is going to do, it's going to glide even if the notes don't run into each other. Like with legato, the notes have to actually run into each other to create the glide. But with this, it'll always glide. So I'll do a really extreme example. So you can hear that's gliding even if I have space between the notes. But I'm going to turn it down to about 100 milliseconds. And this is also a really good sound for EDM too, so I'll definitely try it out in EDM. Next, I'm going to turn off oscillator B for now so we can really hear this. And I'm going to turn on the filter, and this is just going to be on oscillator A. And I'm going to change this to one of the miscellaneous filters. There's a lot of cool ones in here. You should definitely experiment. You could try combs. You could try all passes, add bass. Pretty much any of them are going to give you some interesting results. But I'm going to use the reverb filter. I'm going to turn up the drive a little bit. So now we have this really cool sound to it. Now when I turn on oscillator B, you'll be able to hear this is really thickening the sound. Sounding really fucking cool already, and I haven't even gone into the effects yet. You could use this bass as is and still have a really great bass. And the last thing I'm going to do in the oscillator section is I'm going to turn on the sub oscillator. And I'm going to turn that down by two octaves to match this one. And I'm going to do direct out. So it's going to skip the filter. It's going to skip all the effects. And it's just going to give you a clean sub that layers with these saw waves. So now it sounds super thick. Next thing I'm going to do is go to hyper dimension. I'm going to turn down the hyper because I don't need any more voices stacked on this. It's already got a lot of voices. But I'm going to use the dimension to just give it a little bit of depth and stereo. So I'm going to turn down the size really low. You really don't need to put the size too high on the dimension expander unless you're doing like a higher lead sound. But with a bass, you really don't want it that high. And then you can turn the mix to about 30%. We could even turn it down a little bit from there. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of tube distortion, but I'm going to turn down the mix on it. And this is just going to give it a little bit of distortion and a little bit of saturation. Next, I'm going to turn on the filter and I'm just going to drag this up to the top and I'm going to put it on MG low 12. And this makes it a little bit lower of a tone, but I'll add a macro to the cutoff so we can change that easily if we want to throughout the song or if we want to automate it or even just be able to have easier control. I'm going to turn up the resonance a little bit. 
turn up the drive just a tad and turn up the fat to about 30%. <laughs> And last, I'm going to add the EQ. We're just going to do a filter like this. I'm going to turn the Q down a lot so it doesn't have so much resonance. And then I'm going to add another one to here, and we're going to call this bright. If you turn this macro up, it's just going to make the sound a lot brighter. And then I'm going to boost the lows like this. And I'll turn down the cue for that. So real quick, I'll show you what the difference is if you turn up the cutoff and bright and turn it down. So that's a little bit more EDM sounding, but if you turn down the cutoff, turn down the bright. That sounds a little bit more like it would be in a hip hop song and you could even turn them all the way down. So that's basically it for this sound. And one way you can customize it more is you can go into the distortion modes, try out different distortion modes. There's all kind of different ones. There's even this X shaper where you can actually edit the shape of the distortion. do all kinds of really cool stuff with that and you can even add a phaser or a flanger to give it a little bit more movement if you want you can really get creative with this so i would definitely try out some different stuff and one last thing i'll do to just show you guys some different variations i'll try out some different flange and miscellaneous filters so we'll try the comb plus So what I'm doing here is I actually turn on the filter key track. So when you play different notes, it's going to change the cutoff. And I just tune the cutoff by ear to make it be in key. And you could try like the all passes filter if you want. So you can hear you can get a ton of different sounds definitely experiment with all these filters especially the flange and the miscellaneous filters you'll get a lot of cool stuff out of those so real quick i'm gonna turn it back on the reverb filter so now i'll quickly show you guys how to use this in an actual beat but i'm gonna go to my obo sample pack which is based on drake sound a lot of drake songs use a reese bass like this So this one actually already has a respace in it, but I like how it sounds a lot. The first thing I'm going to do real quick is to just match this bass line to the original bass line. So I don't have to like do it completely by ear. Real quick, I'll go back to Serum and I'm going to make this a little bit more filtered sounding. So now I'm going to drag in the rest of the loop, cut all these tails off. So you can hear how that just adds this huge texture. If I play it without, it's going to sound way more empty. quick i'm gonna add a quick drum pattern to this i won't take too long on this so i'm gonna go back to my ovo pack i really like this battle snare add a snap on the last snare of every pattern And real quick, I actually want to change the tempo of this. So I'm going to put all these stems on stretch mode. I'm going to move it up to maybe 155 or 160. Add a kick. I like this alpha kick right here. 
So I ended up going with this limitless kick and I pitched it down by two notes in the piano roll. I'll add a hi-hat loop to make this really quick. So I'll try this one. This one's at 150. So I'll move the tempo down to 150 real quick, put it on stretch mode and move it straight back up to 155. <laughs> And I'm just gonna duplicate this section right here, then duplicate that through the beat so it doesn't have that gap. And last, I'll add some open hi hats real quick. go to this real open hi-hat and we're gonna cut it off just like it would cut off in a real drum set if you played another note of a hi-hat so it's just gonna last this long it's gonna start with an intro go into a verse I'll probably add back this pad right here and then i'll duplicate all that copy that over that's gonna be the hook so we got intro verse right here it's gonna play through for 16 bars go into the hook for eight bars and then we'll duplicate that we got another verse right here another hook duplicate it one more time and then we'll make a real simple and soft outro I'm gonna add this crash right here. I'll cut the tail and I'm just gonna reverse it and it's gonna lead right into the drop. And right here at the end, I'm just gonna cut like most of the sounds, including the drums and the bass and just lead that piano chord to play out and the snare at the very end. One last final thing, I'm gonna go into my essential effects pack, find a good reverse impact. I really like that one right there. And this is just gonna go before the drop into the verse and the drop into the hook. So it's not gonna run throughout the entire beat like the reverse symbol. I'm gonna also cut this the same way, same length as the reverse symbol. that's pretty much it for this beat i kept this one pretty simple but you can hear it's super effective and that bass is just so thick and you don't even need an 808 or anything else you just need that re-space for beats like this so in the intro i'm actually going to cut it out so it just comes in really full in the drop and i'm going to play this from the beginning through the verse and the hook so you guys can hear the whole thing I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned some stuff about sound design. If you have any requests for any specific sound you want to make, even if it's out of a song, I'll try to remake it for you guys. So just drop those in the comments. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.